All right, what's going on, ladies, gentlemen, and those who are confused? My name is Matt, and welcome to a couple games of TDM here. It's nothing, nothing crazy special. Just a couple of streaks I got yesterday morning, I believe. I hit like three snipes in a row here. It's amazing. I think that's a headshot too. Yeah, it was just incredible. So obviously I had to upload that because when I hit more than two snipes in a row, it's a, it's a big accomplishment. So uh, yeah, there you go. And this is just a streak, I think, of me running around with the scorpion and the sniper and stuff at the end of a TDM game. But that's not what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about uh, my trip coming up to the cottage, my family cottage, uh, which is on Monday, like this coming Monday. I'm gone for the whole week. I'm actually leaving on Sunday. And it's a crazy long drive from here in Ottawa. I have to go all the way across Ontario to Manitoulin Island, which is close to Sudbury, if anybody knows where that is. But I think a lot of people know where Manitoulin is. And if you don't know where it is, it's about nine hours away from where I live right now, a nine hour drive, which it'll end up probably being longer just because I'll have to stop a few times and blah, blah, blah. But it should actually be a pretty fun drive. I'm, I'm kind of excited for it. I've never done it before. I always have gone to my family cottage from my hometown down in southern Ontario. So it's a, it'll be a bit of a different drive. I get to go through uh, Algonquin Park, which is a really, really nice area of Ontario. And uh, hopefully I get to stop or stop in there for a little while, see some of the nature, trees, animals, that kind of thing, you know, standard nature stuff. And I'll get to go through uh, North Bay, I think, which I've never been to, Sudbury, which I haven't been there in a long time. So I, I'm pretty excited to do this drive. I think it'll be, you know, the drive is part of the vacation itself. So hopefully it'll end up being pretty fun. Hopefully we don't get... Uh, you know, hopefully there aren't spike strips laid across the road and we get, like, raped and murdered in the forest somewhere. Um, but moving on from that, uh, here's my next game, which is on Nuketown. And I grab a four-piece right off the start here. I think I just kind of camp here for a minute and then everybody just runs at me. It's pretty sweet. Um, but yeah, I haven't been to my family cottage in about four years because I've been working every summer and I haven't been able to get enough time off to go because usually I've gone to I've gone on one vacation summer but usually I've gone with my mom uh, but this year they're not doing a vacation so I finally get to go to my family cottage with my dad and it should be a lot of fun get to show my girlfriend around because she hasn't been there before and uh, you know get reacquainted with it myself because like I said I haven't been there in so long so yeah I'm pretty excited for that I won't be I, I have videos up, uh, ready to go uh, to upload while I'm gone so there's no need to worry about that. I will have lots of videos for you guys over the next week. Well, lots as in, I think, two or three. But that's a lot for me. It's trying to stay consistent. And that's my that's my goal, you know, quality over quantity. So that's why I'm doing, I'm down to two videos a week, maybe three. And it actually seems to be working out a lot better for me. I, I have a lot more time to do other stuff without having to worry about getting a video out, you know, like either every day or every two days or something stupid like that. Because it's just not, it's not worth the time for me to put that much effort into it. Um, I think the two videos a week thing is a really good compromise where, you know, it's not me going dark for like a, an entire month, but it's also not me burning myself out, um, which is easy to do if I was playing Ghost. It's a lot better now that I'm back to playing Black Ops 2 because I actually like this game. So that's a good thing. Uh, I'm really, really excited for Advanced Warfare. I think it's going to really... That was really funny, so I slowed it down and, and put lol lol on the screen. But about Advanced Warfare, I think it's going to surprise us. I think it's going to be the best Call of Duty yet. And I know that's kind of a bold prediction, but I, I have a lot of faith in Sledgehammer. I think, I think um, you know, they've been listening to the community so far. Uh, they have a really, they have um, Dr. Disrespect, uh, who anyone doesn't know who he is. He was a big part of the, or he was a big competitive uh, enthusiast, I guess you could call him, uh, back in the day. I don't think he actually does that anymore. His real name is something else, obviously. I don't know what it is, but... But uh, anyways, yeah, they have him on board doing multiplayer map design, I believe. And that makes, I mean, that's just one piece of the puzzle, obviously. But uh, even having something like that makes me happy. Uh, if we can't have Vonderhaar, at least we get, uh, you know, something, something decent. So 
yeah, anyways, uh, the game is wrapping up here. Uh, I will be away until the... I don't know what it is, like the 15th or 16th or something like that. But yeah, I'll have videos going up and stuff. Uh, I'll probably be dark on Twitter, so don't worry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm not dying. I'm not going to be dead or anything. Um, Advanced Warfare multiplayer release or reveal is the 11th, so get hyped for that. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I will talk to you later.